Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury, and in this video, I want to show you a really cool way to display your comments on screen. It's something that comes up all the time in our Ecamm Live Academy, and uh, I wanted to just run through it and make a tutorial out of it. So, as you can see here, uh, this is me at the minute on my window, and uh, let me just show you one that I've already prepared. Uh, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're going for. My comments window that is over there, when I'm live, that's going to start coming in with all people's comments, and uh, rather than me clicking and bringing them in, we want that feed to be on the screen here at the side of me. Uh, so how do we get this look? We're going to create a new scene. So if I go here for a new scene, now we are wanting this to be a screen share, but instead of it being that backdrop, you need to keep hold of this little overlay here that says, what do you want to show? And we don't want current application, we want Ecamm Live. Uh, don't worry if it's got beta in there, it depends which version you're on. And what we're looking for is comments and reactions. Now, if you can't see it in the list there, it's because you haven't got it open. So you need to make sure that your comments window is open first and then it will appear in here. And now look what's happened. All of a sudden, it's grabbed my comments window. Now, depending on how you have your window, you might have it quite tall and thin. You might have it wide and uh, it's going to bring it in. I tend to go for a square shape. One thing to note is that when the comments come in here, if you're struggling to read that, then by widening it out, that text gets bigger. Uh, so there's a little tip for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a kind of square space over there and notice that again on this little overlay, um, it's ticked to say stretch to fit the window. We're going to turn that off partly because it doesn't allow me to move this around. It just locks it there in the center and that's not where we want it. Also notice that for me, I've appeared down here as a picture in picture. If you're not appearing on the screen, then you need to just, when you've got this overlay here, down in that bottom left area is this picture in picture icon. When you click on that, your camera feed will come in. Now, if it isn't the camera feed that you want, notice that I don't have a setting on here to change between them. I need to come up to my camera at the top and just check what that feed is. If maybe you've got it at the minute coming through from um, a laptop and you wanna change it over to a camera, then I can change that camera feed there. We'll sort that feed out in a minute. Okay, so let's ch change the actual comment window to start with. So I'm gonna tick on here to minimize that. And depending on where it is on my screen and the size of my screen, that's now just shot off there because it's seen the whole of my desktop. Now, again, while I'm moving around on here, you can see that this little window has got a plus and a minus. And if I hit the plus, it makes that grow. And then what I can do is from the screen here, if I, I'm on a, a, on a mouse, I can right click on my mouse and I can drag that down. Now, if you're using a trackpad, then actually I can kind of stretch my fingers out to, to make this resize in the same way that you would do with a photo on a phone. And then with two fingers, I can pick up this comments window. And so with two fingers, I'm moving it around and then I can just kind of do this to make the thing get bigger or smaller. Okay, and I want it to sit there. Now, if I particularly want the thing to be a bit narrower and fit like this, then I don't change it in this window, I actually change the, the comments tab over there. So if I make that thinner now, look how that will resize to fit my window. So I could actually do it and resize it there. I think that looks really good. Okay, so that's the actual comments section on that part of the screen. Now, what about me? At the minute I'm sitting over here. Well, again, I can right click or two finger on the picture in picture and change it. So if I wanted to, I could even go for a look like this where I uh, put this feed up and look, I bring myself right in alongside these comments. So maybe I want to stay over here and actually have this comments window wider. So it really is filling up this screen here and I'm kind of sitting second place to it. So lots of flexibility. You can see me, I'm just moving that around over there and it's affecting what's coming in um, I'm sure as well, somebody will come up with some nice little frames and overlays that you can actually fit around this. Uh, I tend to go for square over here. And again, you can resize this. You have to pull from the 
bottom right corner there. I can resize this and I'm going to make that um, comment section just come a little bit tighter in, right clicking over here. Um, I do like to try to just create, when I'm putting it in, I want that the same space all the way around it really. It just, uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks well finished off I think. So I can do the same thing over here and uh, resize. I can either put it there or maybe I decide I want to sit in the center or maybe I want to come on here round like this. Uh, so I'm talking while the comments are going on. Uh, one other thing that you could do, so if you find that maybe you're looking the wrong way and you want to be able to look over towards the comments but you find it's making you look off, you can come down to this camera effects and you can actually mirror yourself in there so you're looking the opposite way around now. Um, Another little tip that you might like to try. Can I just bring that back to square? And uh, so it kind of is as easy as that. What I would suggest to you is set this up every time you do a live because if I close this down and especially if I lock this scene, if I close this down now and um, next time I come back to it, my comments happen to be on this side of the screen. Look, it's it's gone, it's lost and I'm gonna be panicking going, what happened to my comments. So just line it up every time you come on to do your live. Uh, you know, you can be on a different scene and you know that when you get onto that one, everything's ready for you to go. Okay, now one thing that uh, I think works really well on here, you'll notice as you look at my desktop here that we are, uh, everything looks very nicely branded. It's my blue that I use. And uh, so let me just show you this tip. If I, again, I'm going to right click down here on my desktop and change my desktop background. Now, you may well have your desktop set up with a nice um, picture. Let's have a look on here. If, for instance, I've got the, um, is it Catalina Islands uh, set over here. Let's just move that secondary one. That's from my other monitor. If I've got that in my background, then look, that's that's how that comes in on this window here with my comments it will pick up the image that you've got behind it. So what I do as a tip is instead of having a picture on as my desktop, I go with a color. And instead of using one of these default ones, you can put a custom color in. You get this little picker down here. So this is your main window that comes in. If you come along to the next one, which is these sliders, it will allow you to put a hex ref number in there. Or I've got saved down here. This is our corporate blue. So now that background has gone blue. It's almost like I've put a frame on top of this. But the way I've done it is to just change my background color. And actually, I find this is a great little pro tip anyway, really. I, if I'm sharing my screen and my desktop, one little uh, <laughs> icon has snuck on there. But I tend to push my icons off to the side onto my MacBook while I've got a second monitor here and I try to keep it clean like this. It's all on brand, it's all my coloring, and I think that just looks uh, super good. So next time you see me live and the comments are coming down, this is how we did it. It's as easy as that, and uh, as soon as you get going, those comments will come in. Uh, it, it's a great experience for you to be able to read people's comments. One of the biggest tips I give people is to interact with your audience. So if I come onto your live and I say, Hey, John, great to be on your live. You're doing a great job and you don't even see it. Well, that kind of leaves me disappointed thinking, oh, I didn't even notice me. But if I came on and left that same comment and you went, oh, Adrian's on. How are you doing, Adrian? Oh, Adrian's an expert at video. You should reach out to him and it makes me feel super good. Uh, that's the power that you can have with your customers when you call them out and react to them. Uh, I was on a live just 20 minutes ago and somebody said exactly that and called somebody out there on LinkedIn and they said, ah, oh, Claudia, she's um, a real expert at this. And I thought, what a great way to build a relationship with your audience. Uh, so this is one super way to do that by bringing their comments on, scrolling it down. Certainly if you've got a busy feed uh, like we do in the Ecamm Live Academy, we can have hundreds of comments and by just having it in here, you can see exactly what I'm looking at and working on and uh, yeah, set it in here on a scene. Don't mess around with it. Uh, lock that down. Remember then you're over here when you're talking and at the point you want to get to the comments, 
click over to here. I wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't got many comments coming in and maybe they've only got two people watching and nobody's commenting. Maybe you don't do this. Uh, so the fact that it's a scene and it's sitting there as an option, you can cut to it if you want. You're not looking awkward and it's not looking like a bit of a poor show if nobody's actually saying anything. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Uh, go through the other videos and the playlist on here and uh, reach out to me if I can be of any help. Thanks so much.